In this video, we're going to go through database backup settings in iTheme Security. I'm already in the settings panel of iTheme Security. So from here, I just need to go down to database backups and then we can get started. So here you can see that the first option we can choose to enable is backing up the entire database. So in some instances, you may have content in your database that's not WordPress related or WordPress specific, and you may wish to back that up. So if that's the case, you make sure you check that box otherwise your site goes down, you're going to lose all that data. Then we can just choose the backup method. There's three options we can choose from, locally and email, email only, or locally only. I recommend email only because the reality is if your web server goes down and you're saving it locally only, then you can't get access to that file anyway. So it's kind of useless by comparison to email only. Of course, you can be very prudent and choose locally and email and you could even retrieve those files off your server every single day if you wanted to do that but that's a little bit too much work i think so best using just email only of course if you do choose the locally saved option you can see that it'll actually show you where it's going to put those by default and you can change that as you see fit then you can just choose if you want the database files to be compressed or not the default is indeed to compress them so every time that the database backup runs and you get the email your database file will be actually in a zip file when it's delivered to your email. Then we just go down and we find the excluded tables option. So it shows you here that there's a few tables that will be backed up and some that are excluded. And you can very easily chop and change these as you see fit just by clicking on them in either column and that will put them across to the opposing column. Then if you move down a little bit, you can see that you can turn on scheduled database backups and I highly recommend this it's set to one day intervals at the moment and that's because this site changes very regularly. So I want to make sure that I have an adequate number of database backups on hand so that I can call on those whenever I need. If in the instance your website only gets updated every so often, you can easily change this to seven, 10, 12 days, anything you like really, anything that suits you. And when you're done, just make sure you click save changes. That's all we really need to talk about for the database backup settings in iTeam Security. Just make sure you turn it on and use it. Uh, but otherwise, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments.